Former President Donald Trump stirred controversy on Friday, March 29, by sharing a video that depicted an image of President Joe Biden being tied up in the back of a pickup truck. The video was linked to an event on Long Island, as Trump indicated it was filmed when he attended the wake of NYPD officer Jonathan Diller, who tragically lost his life in the line of duty this week. According to Trump campaign spokesman Stephen Cheung, the image was on a truck passing on the highway. Cheung condemned the responses of certain groups towards Trump, including despicable violence and the weaponization of the justice system against him. On the other hand, Biden campaign spokesman Michael Tyler expressed strong disapproval, stating, This image from Donald Trump is the type of crap you post when you're calling for a bloodbath or when you tell the Proud Boys to stand back and stand by. Trump is regularly inciting political violence and it's time people take him seriously. Tyler's remarks emphasized concerns over the potential consequences of such actions in light of past events, such as the January 6 Capitol incident. This video marks another instance of Trump utilizing intense and violent imagery within his campaign messages, aligning with his tendencies towards inflammatory rhetoric, which seemed to be fueling his aspirations for the White House once again. Trump's recent warnings regarding the 2024 election also raised eyebrows, with his statement that a loss would trigger a bloodbath for the U.S. auto industry, alongside promises of tariffs on foreign-made cars, claiming that domestic manufacturing would only flourish under his leadership. These remarks were part of a broader discussion on industry practices, unions, electric vehicles, and foreign plants. Trump's history of controversial statements continues, with past comments labeling migrants as poison and criticizing Biden as a threat to democracy, in line with his inclination to praise foreign leaders with authoritarian tendencies. Trump's choice of words, such as likening political adversaries to vermin and associating them with radical ideologies, has drawn criticism for its divisive and dehumanizing nature, with comparisons to historical contexts like Nazi Germany. This isn't the first time he's been accused of using Hitler-like speech. Trump previously said that undocumented immigrants coming into the US were poisoning the blood of our country, 